welcome back and my name is Sirag. So today I'm going to uh, start a new series. This is a API testing series. So in this series, I'm going to show you how we can test uh, API with the rest assured. So today I'm going to discuss all the topic which I will discuss in this uh, series in upcoming videos. So before jumping in directly into rest assured, I am going to show you how we can do API testing manually because if we have the concept how what is the API and how we can perform API through Chrome browser and what are the different method what are the what is the HTTP protocol so these are the basic things which I will cover in this uh, series because if we do not uh, know the different types of headers uh, different types of response code different types of authentication so it is get very difficult to crack an interview or you just uh, cannot move directly into rest assured firstly i will just discuss one by one this topic after that i will switch to rest assured library and in this uh, I'm going to show you how we can configure and how we can perform all this step which I have discussed in section 1 by manually by using rest assured then we will going to create a framework API testing framework with using rest assured we will also integrate ext extend report so all these things we are going to do in this uh, series so first uh, is what is API testing with REST Assure 2 we will discuss this and uh, we also see what is the HTTP protocol and what is the request response what are the different types of method we are going to use so what is a head method because get post put patch they are the common methods but uh, what is a head methods what is the options method why we use and where we uh, we are going to use so what are the different kinds of headers so they are the general headers request response entity header headers so we are going to discuss all these things and we also see what are the different response status code so basically when we uh, when we just uh, uh, use get method then we will get any response so the when the response is okay then we will get successful response right but uh, in some case there will be a 304 uh, response status come as shown in this uh, case so uh, why this um, uh, status code come 304 we all going to discuss this there are the different types one by one we will discuss this then we are going to discuss authentication so api keys you have seen that some api has api keys so why api keys are present basic auth so what is a basic auth well we provide username and password so how that base 64 will work and most popular auth 2 so what is a auth 2 and after that we will discuss json so what is a json and json serialization in api and deserialization in api they are the some advanced topic but by using this topic you can easily do api testing and this is the this serialization and deserialization comes uh, in picture when we do live project uh, or the response which is uh, you know something complex then we can use this so we will discuss all these things and after that we will uh, look into rest assured api so they are the basic point which i have mentioned here and now but we will discuss in this uh, in deeply and uh, i also add more points here so how we can configure rest assured library with eclipse and uh, how we can use get post uh, patch uh, different method by using uh, rest assured how we can validate http response so what is a given when then method in rest assured basically rest assured use a bdd framework 
so this a bdd approach so we will discuss uh, how we can use given when then and authentication we will see we will see different types of authentication how we can use in rest assured then we will create our framework and integrate this so all these things we are going to do in upcoming videos so i hope i hope you like this content and if you missed any if i missed anything you can put in comments so i will add that topic also so guys thank you thank you for watching this video please tune with this uh, series and i'm sure you will get much information by watching this video and the video which i will put in this series thank you for watching bye bye take care